reviews of books I haven't read in years. Do, 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 do. Yay. This is one of my favorite books I read in college. This is The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy Gentleman by Lawrence Stern. And if you've ever read this book, this tells you, the fact that this is my favorite book from college tells you way too much about me. This book is a rambling mess of random ass thoughts. There is technically a plot line. It's technically uh, set up as a memoir of Tristram Shandy, this character. And it starts before he's even born. It starts at his conception, which is hilarious. Like, oh my god, it is so funny. But uh, the book travels through time following his life, but only ever really makes it till he's about five. And then the author realizes he's running out of time and death is chasing him. So there's this weird section where literally he's just talking about a trip through Europe where he tries to outrun death. And then we jump back to the beginning of his life when the author suddenly realizes he never managed to tell you about the day of his conception. And it is just so beautifully silly. Uh, Tristram Shandy is set up as a relatively, like normal character-ish, but his parents are both utterly ridiculous. Uh, his uncle rides around a hobby horse. I love this book, and it's also... It's, it is unusually formatted, especially for, you know, uh, 17th century? Oh god, this is embarrassing. 18th century. 18th century book. Like, you don't usually find books that just have an entire page of black at that time period. Uh, and that's part of why I liked it so much, because it was just an oddball book. But also, it was the first book that I read that could be considered, like, historical literature, like books written before the modern era, that I found actually laugh out loud funny. Now, the thing is, is this an easy read? Oh, hell no! It is a struggle sometimes. Expect to, like, there are two to three page chapters, and expect those chapters to take a couple of hours to get through, because just figuring out what's happening sometimes is so hard. But it's beautiful. There are stories about long noses that are clearly euphemisms for other members of the anatomy. There's a story about a window sash, which will make all guys flinch. There is a weird, like, diatribe about, like, avoiding death. Like, this is a lovely book, and it's also a rather deep musing about what humans leave behind and what is the purpose of, you know, human life. You know, a good book.